Hello, friends. We get to talk about the sight word, and. And is our sight word for this week. A n d. A n d. A n d. And. And. Very good. So we already broke down the sounds, and let's do it again. A n d. A n d. And. And. He and I can jump. And. And. He has an apple and an orange. And. Very good. We are going to do our and paper. But first, we need to put our name on it. Name first. Now remember, my name has two names. Miss, the finger space. Jen. If you want to do your first name and your family name or last name, Remember to put the finger space in between your two names. Very good. All right, and we are doing the word and, 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 and. Remember when writing the A, we start at two o'clock, we go around, up and down. And we stay under that middle line, so we know that's the baby A. And we start at the middle line, and we go down and a bump for the N. And remember, the D, we always start with the circle. So we start at 2 o'clock, go around and up and down for that D. Very good. So we're going to do and, and, and. Trace and three times. Very good. All right, let's look at this word and for a minute. How many letters are in the word and? One, two, three letters. Very good. And how many of those letters are short letters? Two, excellent, two short letters. How many are tall letters? One tall letter, good. Two short letters, one tall letter. So we're gonna write the short letters in the short boxes. Short letters A and N and and and. So we need to add our tall letter to the tall box. And, and, and. Now you get to find the word and and circle it. Find and circle. Oh, I found one right here. And I see three more. So there are four ands. Four ands. Find all four of the ands. Excellent. And then you get to trace our sentence. He and I can jump. He and I can jump. He and I can jump. Remember, the first letter of a sentence is always capital, and we always have punctuation at the end. This one is a period. We could do an exclamation point. He and I can jump! I am so excited about that. Very good. Now remember, you have a chance to write the same sentence all by yourself in the bottom line. Don't forget to do those finger spaces after each word. Excellent job. You are becoming an expert at the sight words. Remember, you can always go back and watch our videos from before to get some practice for each of the sight words that we have gone over this year. Very good. 
Another fun thing you get to do today is you get to make the solar system. I wanted to show you a picture in this book that we read yesterday that shows you a picture of our solar system. So there's the sun in the middle and each one of these lines is the line of a planet that orbits the sun. Now what I would like for you to do is cut out the sun and the planets. So the sun is on a paper that looks like this and you have I think two papers that have planets. Cut those out the best you can. Then you're going to use your big paper to make the solar system. You can decide if you want the sun to be in the middle or if you want to do it kind of like my, sun, my solar system up here on the board where the sun is over here. You can kind of see it. And I have the planets in order. Do you see how they're in order? Excellent. This is moon. And this is a moon, which makes it a little confusing. We'll take the moons off. Excellent. So let's look at the order again. Now you can remember the order from the paper you colored yesterday. My very educated mother just served us noodles. Or from the song that we've been singing. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Now I know just what you are. Mercury, Venus, on Earth we sing. Mars and Jupiter, Saturn's rings. Uranus, Neptune, that makes eight. Boy, our solar system is great. So when you glue your solar system on your paper, make sure you do it in the proper order. So if you decide to make your sun at the end of the paper, then you can make your solar system go in order. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If you decide to put your sun in the middle of the paper, then you can also make sure it goes in the right order. Do you see the closest planet to the sun is Mercury, then Venus, then Earth, then Mars, then Saturn. Where's Saturn? Saturn. No, no, no. Not Saturn. Sorry. Jupiter. Then Saturn. Then Uranus. And Neptune. You can put them in a circle and make sure that each one is where it's supposed to land as far as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very good. I hope you have fun putting cutting and putting your solar system together. And don't forget to color it. Coloring is also very important. I hope you have a great day and I will see you later. Goodbye.